Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Connaughton, and I'm going to read you a story called The Runaway Bunny. If you haven't had a chance yet to go on to our Google Classroom website and take a peek at all of the bunny and rabbit activities that I put on there for you today, then go take a look. This is another story to go along with all of the rabbit get all of the rabbit um, information that we'll be learning about and I have an activity for you too. When I'm all done reading the story, you and your grown-ups can look onto our website and you'll be able to find pages that look like this and do your very own story response just like we do in school, but you'll do it at home instead. So this is the spot where I've found to make into my special home office and before we get started I'm going to write on the board my home office you could write this onto a piece of paper and then hang it up somewhere close to the spot where you're doing your kindergarten work when you have your home office set up then you know and everybody else around you knows it's not time to be silly not time for other people to talk it's not time to do anything except for important kindergarten work so make sure before you listen to the rest of this video make sure that you're set up in your home office and if you didn't make a sign yet to hang up in your home office then you can press pause on the video and you can do it right now now that I hung up my sign that says my home office all of the kids in my in my house are all going to be nice and quiet because they know that their mom is working. And my work right now is to do some special activities with you. Some of your grown-ups have different kinds of work that they need to do from home. And usually kids go to school and while the kids are at school, the grown-ups can do all of their work. But now since everyone's staying at home to stay healthy and safe, some grown-ups are doing more work from their own home office. So you also have to remember that when your grown-ups are doing their work, you have to be quiet and respectful to them. And right now, your grown-ups and all of the other people that are around you will be nice and respectful to you while you do your work. If you have younger brothers or sisters or even older brothers and sisters who want to do this work with you, then you can definitely, definitely let them sit and do the work. They can listen to the story as I read it and they can do the special activity afterwards but they need to understand what the rules are for kindergarten work time while we are in our home offices. The rules are we need to make sure that it's nice and quiet. Let's listen. You hear anything? Oh, I don't hear anything either. We need to make sure that we have our supplies with us. So make sure that you, you have your briefcase. That's your backpack. Make sure that you have your briefcase ready with some paper and some pencils inside of it, maybe some crayons or colored pencils, and don't forget your bottle of water so that you don't get dehydrated while you do your special work. I just realized I forgot mine. Hold on. Okay, much better. Now I can have a sip of water. It's important to drink water and stay hydrated while you're doing all of your work, right? Ah, did you have a drink of water just then? If you want to go grab one now, you can. The story is about to begin. Ready? The Runaway Bunny. Written by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. The Runaway Bunny. Here's the title page. The Runaway Bunny, written by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. So Margaret Wise Brown wrote the words and Clement Hurd drew the pictures. I'm going to get in really close while I read so that you can see the words and the pictures really well. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away, so he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. Hmm, I wonder why he wants to run away. Hmm. 
If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. Mm, so the little bunny is trying to get away, but his mom says that she's going to find him wherever he goes. Look at this page. Did you notice that this page has no colors to the pictures? And then look. This is the page where we're using our imagination. This is the imagination. This is what the mother bunny is imagining that she would do if her little bunny turned into a, a fish and swam away. She would get a fishing rod out and she would catch the little bunny. But what is she using to catch that bunny? It's a carrot. I wonder if the little bunny will swim to it and eat up the carrot. Let's see. Oh, nope. No colors and no details. These pictures are very plain. They were just done with a pencil. I wonder why. All right, let's get back to the words. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. Oh, look at Here's the imagination again. This is what the mom bunny is imagining she would do. Can you find the little bunny hiding? Right there. There he is. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. A crocus is a type of flower. There's crocuses that are starting to sprout up from the ground right now if you look outside. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. Look, the detailed picture of the mother bunny imagining what she would do if her little bunny turned into a crocus flower. Can you find the bunny? Right there. If you are a gardener and you find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and I will fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. <laughs> Look at this page. Look at the mother bunny. She's shaped just like a tree. And look at the baby bunny. Flying with wings. That's funny. Can bunnies really fly? No. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you to where I want you to go. Oh, look, there's the mother bunny. She turned into a big windy cloud. <laughs> there's the baby bunny, look. His ears, his ears have turned into the sails on a sailboat. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope tight rope walker and I will walk across the air to you. Oh, here's all the details again. Here's the mother bunny. She became a tightrope walker. That means she walked across a rope that was hanging up high in the sky. Sometimes you see these at circuses, maybe at the Topsfield Fair. Here's the bunny. What a brave little bunny. Look at him swinging from the trapeze. If you become a tightrope a tight rope walker and you walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. 
If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and I will catch you in my arms and hug you. Does this picture look familiar to anyone? Has anyone ever heard of the story called Goodnight Moon? If you have Goodnight Moon at home, you might want to go find it when you're done with this activity and compare the pictures in this book, especially the picture on this page, to the pictures that you see in Goodnight Moon. You might notice something very similar. Margaret Wise Brown and Clement Hurd. Remember those names when you look at Goodnight Moon. Oh, shucks, said the little bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. So they did. The end. Okay, now it's your turn to do some work. Are you ready? Let me reach down and get my backpack. Oh, my briefcase. Okay, I have my briefcase. This is the one that I'm using. My children are helping me to color it in. So right now it looks like this, but every day we color a little bit more. Pretty soon we'll have the whole front of it colored. All right, I have some tape. I'm going to get off a piece of tape so I can hang up the work that you have. So your grown-ups will be able to find these worksheets on our classroom page. When I printed them, I couldn't find any white paper at all. So look, I had to print them on green paper. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter which color we use. If you don't have paper at home that you can print things onto, or you don't have a printer, that's okay, you don't really need to print anything. All you need to do is read the directions, and these directions are right on your computer so your grown-up can find them for you. And then you just need to write the ending for the sentence over here and draw a picture. Listen to the directions, ready? The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. I can get this a little bit closer while I read. Directions. Number one, listen to the story. Check, you've already done that. So if you print this out, you can put a little check mark right next to that. If you didn't print it out, then you can just think in your mind, check, I'm all done with number one. Number two, think about these questions and use your imagination. Remember, when you use your imagination, you have to think really hard about different kinds of creative things that might not really happen. When you use your imagination, then you can make anything happen, anything at all. So don't think about what already happened in the book or, or ask somebody else what they would write about. Use your own imagination and think, what would I do? These are the two questions you need to think about. If you were the little bunny, what would you change into to try to hide from your mother. So when we looked at the book, we saw that the bunny tried to change into lots of things to hide from his mom. Look, the bunny tried to turn into a fish, a rock up high on a mountain, a flower in a garden, a bird, a boat, trapeze artist. The bunny in the story turned into lots of different things. I don't want you to write about any of the things that the bunny turned into because that was the idea for Margaret Wise Brown who wrote the words to that story. Your job is to think about something totally different. Use your imagination and think of the most creative thing possible to answer the first question. If you were the little bunny what would you change into to try to hide from your mother? So first think about that question and after you have your idea, think about this. Would she find you? Hmm. Pause for a minute and think. 
before you go on to your written work, you want to spend a couple of minutes really, really thinking about what those questions are before you go on to direction number three. Step three says, draw a detailed picture with pencil and color it in with colored pencils, crayons, or twistables. So that's the drawing that you're going to do in this big empty space right here. Or if you didn't print this out and you're just working in your notebook that you already have, then that's okay too. You can just get a notebook page. If it has lines on it, just ignore the lines. You can draw a picture right over the lines. No big deal at all. If you did print it out, then this is the spot where you'll draw your picture and then this is the spot where you'll write your words. The last step, number four, says finish the sentence using many details. Remember to leave spaces between your words and form your letters properly. That means write your letters the kindergarten way. And I know when you look up closely at this paper, I don't have the kind of paper yet with the skyline and the grass line and the plain line, but I'm going to get it soon. So for now, look at the paper and remember when you only see one line in the spot where you need to write, you pretend that that line is the grass line. When you only see one line for writing, you pretend that it's the grass line. So you'll start down here, pretend this is the grass line and then the skyline would be somewhere up here. Plain line would be somewhere right there. It doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to try to make sure that you're doing your very, very best writing. If you have any questions, then you can just send me a message through Seesaw or ask your grown-up to send me a message, and I will write back to them, and we will have another story again tomorrow. All right, bye everybody!